Hey guys, William Ferno here today with another LEGO Hero Factory Classic Review. This time we'll be taking a look at the big bad himself, Von Nebula. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at his package first. Of course we have Von Nebula on the cover, his info, the makers of Bionicle, his symbol. On the back here we have Stormer Inferno going up against him, his stats, obviously he is the most powerful, uh, and his functions, which he does not have a lot of. Alright, so let's just get straight into him with articulation. He has the uh, pistons that I talked about a lot in Rotor's review. Uh, his piston uh, design does come out sometimes, as you can see, that's kind of a con with it. If you bend the ankles down too far, if you bend the heels down, and so then you have to just take the axle and somehow get it back in there and move on with this review. Come on. It should be going in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. I see. It's just rotated a little bit. There we go. Got it back in. Alright, and then you just push it up. So it does have the piston system, as I mentioned, which does give the legs more friction. Uh, on the back here, he does have... His thighs are kind of connected to a another ball socket joint thing over here and that's for both of his thighs so they just kind of move around like that which gives him a ton of leg stability so you're gonna notice this is a very stable set with a lot of different poses you can get out of him like that all right so that's it for the legs uh, for the arms he does not have elbows he has Shoulders, which do pop out sometimes, as you can see. Kind of an issue. And then he does have wrists, and as you can tell, there's kind of parts flying everywhere. So he does have wrists. Uh, and then, of course, he kind of has a couple... He has a neck that can move up and down, and then he also has the side-to-side -side movements. Um, so... Bit or, a bit more of articulation there, and then the same on the other hand, it just also has this uh, function, I guess. The only function in this says that you can spin this if you get it right, and you just spin it. So that's basic, that's the basic only function for the set. So color scheme wise, it is incredibly consistent, consisting of uh, black, silver, a little bit of blue, and some accents of uh, just in the eyes a trans orange the only thing hindering would be the red pins or red axles the blue pins don't necessarily stick out and the tan the dark the beige kind of axles that stick out they aren't really uh, annoying at all because uh, again that color sort of fits with everything but this is one of the few exceptions where the blue pins do not stick out only the red axles which uh, there is quite a bit of open pins on him. We have this pin right here that's open. We have the red axle down here. There's quite a bit in the sides of his legs here, as you can see, uh, and, uh, and on the back here, um, and then up here. So quite a lot of just open axles and pins and everything. And if that annoys you, that that's your problem. No offense, but I don't really. That doesn't really annoy me too much. Um, so for parts at the time that were new, I believe these spike pieces were new. Uh, the Hydraxon mask, I, I don't know what Kanohi, I don't know what its uh, technical term is, but we get it in black. Uh, I don't know if we've seen these claw pieces that are used on his head in black before. Maybe we've seen this in dark or in a dark blue and a black. I know we've seen the piece before, but it's technically a recolor. Don't know if we've seen the Borok heads, the Borok like uh, head parts in black before, just a solid black. Uh, but we, m yeah, well, never mind. We have. So that was a fail by me. Yes, we have seen that. Uh, there's a lot of foot pieces on him. I think this new. This is a new armor shell. Uh, there's a lot of feet on him everywhere. He has a foot for his, his uh, chest armor, or his torso armor. He has a foot down here, of course, and feet on his legs for armor. Um, for a few cons, just to point out right off the bat, uh, he doesn't have, he has hindered articulation up here. He cannot move his arm across like that. He can move it downward and across like that. 
uh, and his another con is his hands will fall off, his little claws will fall off due to the fact that they're just sitting on an axle. So if you just push it forward just slightly, they just will slide right off. And that happens a lot to me, the, the hands will just fall off because the axles get worn out a little bit. Uh, this wobbles, some people might not like that. There's a lot of wobbly parts on them. Uh, there's these feet pieces that are just hooked up to a little piece and they just they just flop around a little bit. They're, they're kind of annoying. Also, all this, the, his big, thick upper legs uh, limit articulation points. Um, and yeah, and then this obviously wobbles quite a lot. So, um, and then on the back here, his arms do have more friction because of the, uh, the joint connection back here. So his arms are connected to two joints, which does hinder articulation quite a bit. Um, and of course, he doesn't have any elbow articulation at all. Now, he doesn't really have any functions either, and as you can tell, uh, there's not really any new molds or anything except for these spike parts. Uh, so if you were to get him, uh, just just beware that he's not filled with recolor. He's kind of filled with recolors, but he's not really filled with new parts at all. He doesn't really have any main functions, like the spheres that you shoot out, except for this little spinny staff thing, his black hole staff over here. Um, and his articulation is hindered in some spots. His color scheme is quite consistent, but of course, like I said, the pins are, the red pins are kind of unnerving. And all in all, that's kind of all I have to say about Von Nebula. Uh, Von Nebula is the big bad, but is he worth going back to get? That's kind of up to you. His build is pretty fun. He's a good set to have when it comes to being a collector. But if you really want a set more for posability and playability, I would go and get Rotor instead. This guy may look cool, but he's just kind of boring. There's not much to him uh, set-wise. There's just not a lot of features to him. So, uh, it's honestly up to you at this point if you wanted to go back and get this set. But in my opinion, he's just kind of boring. Uh, but, you know, he's the big bad, so not like there has to be anything crazy about him, actually. That would have been nice. But, you know, Lego is Lego, and that is it for this review. The next review will be on the limited edition set, bulk versus paper. And I'll see you guys later.